Hey guys, welcome back to your Xcode 4 tutorials. And today we're going to go over some of the basics of the date picker. And that's what we've got on the screen. So jump into your Xcode and uh, check out what we're going to be doing today on the simulator. We've basically got uh, a generic date code, date picker in front of us. And uh, there, there's different variables you can select and all this other stuff. But uh, I'll show you that a little bit later. But we've got a simple date, and then we've got a button off to the right. When you click the button, we simply display the date selected within the date picker. So that's what we're going to go through in the next tutorial here, and uh, kind of briefly go into some of the variants and uh, some of the complexities that you can get into. So it's really helpful, and uh, so let's just jump in. All right, so open up Xcode 4. Hopefully you guys have got the newest one, because we're going to go through kind of a uh, well, they call it a storyboard. If you don't know what that is, download the newest X code so you can follow around along directly. If not, you will you should be able to find your way around the old one too. Alright, so we're going to start with the single view application. Go ahead and click next. And uh, just name this whatever you want. We're going to name ours date picker. And down at the bottom, we're just going to make sure it's universal, even though it doesn't matter for this tutorial. And if you have all three of these selected, that's fine as well. So we're going to go ahead and create that, save it in uh, whatever location you want. Now as it loads, you've got your basic uh, basic stuff in front of you. Now this is the only difference um, that we're going to go through today is this main storyboard iPad. Um, and if you're not familiar with these storyboards yet, go back, check out the previous tutorials on some of the basics of storyboards. It kind of gives you a new, new frame of mind, a lot simpler and a lot better but check out the storyboards. In this one, um, if you remember from the previous um, Xcode versions, and you can you can opt out of using storyboards, you were using basically .xib zip files. And so this one kind of is all encompassing. It holds all of your XIBs in one place. And as you drag, you know, new view controllers into the case, you know, you can drag like five of them, so on and so forth. I'm getting way off topic. Um, it's an easy organization place. So that's where we're going to start is this main view controller. Um, and so we only have one at this point, and that's all we're going to use for this tutorial. And so I'm just going to change the background color, make sure it's selected. Click your view controller here, go up to your attributes, and we're just going to put a uh, nice little kind of aqua, I would say. Don't even know how to describe this color, but it's pretty awesome. And so once you've got that um, done, and obviously that's just a step I put in there, you don't have to actually do it. Um, we're going to go down to our objects on the bottom right and drag it up to give yourself a little bit more space and go down and find the date picker. Now it's a little bit further down. You can obviously search for these, but I feel like I just want to scroll tonight. And uh, go ahead and drag the date picker onto the screen. Now, as you can see from us dragging it, and I'm pinwheeling there, I don't know why, um, it comes with this whole, I don't know what you'd call that, kind of a f nice, clean-cut banner-type look to it. So you can place it on the, the entire screen and stuff like that. Well, that's fine if you want that whole banner. We're going to go ahead and shrink it down here once my computer um, catches up with my fast fingers. We're going to shrink it down. Now, as you shrink it down, um, the date picker actually stays centered within there. So it makes it nice with an Xcode because you can center it, you can uh, make everything look very nice and uh, moving forward. And so we're just going to shrink it down kind of like the simulated product we had. Just give it a nice clean cut um, where we're at. So we've got the date picker on the screen. Now one thing to take note of is once you've selected your date picker, you can go up here to the attributes and you can look at the mode. You can, you know, if we just want the date like we did, um, like we did in the tutorial, you can just select date, and it only shows obviously the date. Um, there's other options like the time, uh, date and time, and then uh, finally a countdown timer. And these are all different things that you can you can adjust, modify, show on screen, and uh, move forward. So in this case, we're just going to go the, with uh, the date, and obviously in this. In this, uh, with the date selected, the interval doesn't matter, but there's other selections. You know, we could put in a date, the minimum date, so they can't go back further than 1970. You know, if we're selecting people 
um, to be inputted into this time frame, so on and so forth. So there's there's different things you can do there. Um, timer obviously relates to the timer, and then uh, various controls how you can set it up within there, the looks and all that feel. So just a quick side note, man. That sorry, off topic again. So back to the tutorial. We're gonna go back up and we're gonna add a simple button as you saw in the previous um, example. Make it whatever size you want. I'm just gonna put it in nice little size there. And uh, we're gonna simply write log date so people know what the button does. All right, again, you can change the, the color and all that stuff off to the right. We're just gonna leave it simple. And then uh, we're gonna drag finally a label below here. And this is where we're gonna display the date I like to uh, make sure it's big enough within here. Now I'm gonna open this up to give self, ourselves a little bit more room. Um, make it big enough so we can increase the font so it's actually viewable. And in this case, if I can, uh, sorry about that, take out the actual text and I'm just gonna make the font just a hair bigger. And, uh, you know, no matter what the date's going to be, we have this auto shrink function. I don't know if you have to use that, but if you click that function or that, uh, that ability there, if the text gets super large, it's going to shrink it down to, uh, to fit within the box that we've made here, the label. So that's a nice little feature. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, establish what we have to within our outlets and our action within the buttons. So what we're going to do is jump open our editor off to the right here. And we're going to simply take uh, this label here, and this is obviously going to be an outlet. We're going to hold control, and then we're going to uh, insert our outlet here. Nice little easy, fast thing to do for you guys. And we're going to name this outlet Date Label. All right, types already selected for us, storage. In this case, we can just go with week. We have uh, no specifics there. And we're gonna connect it. Okay, then we're gonna take the button here, hold control, and drag it below. Now this is gonna be an action, because when we click the button, that's gonna send a message to our controller here and uh, relay the message to our label. So in this case, we're just going to call it uh, log button, and touch up inside is fine as far as the event when they click it. Argument sender, we're going to hook that up here in a little bit, and so that'll establish our IB action, give ourselves a little bit more room, and then finally the last outlet that we're going to hook up is this date date picker. So just name it. Uh, uh, sorry date pick it date picker all right make sure your types good with date picker uh, week again is fine and an outlet so we're gonna go ahead and connect that all right so let's just jump over to the full screen mode of this go to your view control dot H that's what we're where we are working there give ourselves a little bit of room there and so as you can see we've got all our outlets established as well as our IB action for the button and over here you can tell that they're already hooked up for us so that's gonna be enough uh, we're running out of time in this tutorial so stay tuned for part two of this tutorial and we're gonna hook up what's going on behind the scenes and then displaying that text on screen with uh, with our date picker so stay tuned for part two that's coming up next